So I've been swimming for quite a while and I've um, been lucky to be you know, a top uh, swimmer in my country for uh, the longest time. Emily's the top woman in Kenya right now, so she got selected just the other day. We're thrilled about that. Well, it means a lot because uh, this is something that, you know, I've been really trying to get to. Uh, last time in the Rio Olympics, I was ranked second in the country. So it was kind of like, you know, not really the best results to get and because I was really looking forward to it. I had a practice session in Rio while we were getting Jade ready to swim and, and there uh, uh, a friend of mine came up and said, Steve, there's a guy from Kenya that's looking for a school for Emily. So I said, well, just introduce me. And I talked to him and I said, it sounded like it might be a good fit. Uh, it's such an honor, you know. I've been to like a couple games, Commonwealth Games, all African games. And, you know, I've done this for my country for since I was like, 14 years old, and it's definitely Olympic Games is definitely one of the uh, is the highest of all sports, you know, uh, for somebody to um, an athlete to accomplish. So it's it's definitely meaning a lot for me to make it to the Olympic Games and participate for Kenya since uh, this is probably going to be the second uh, female to go for the Olympic Games. So it definitely means a lot to me and to my country. She gets to swim one event. Um... So it looks like it's going to be the 50 freestyle. That's the that's the event she's ranked highest in FINA points. I think both she and I kind of wished it was the 100 butterfly, which was her, the event she won at the WAC championships. You made it here, and it's something that you know not everybody gets to get, and it's just something that I'm definitely going to keep uh, as a, uh, definitely a memory. <laughs>